Okay. This is the Goldilocks principle of dating. For the right person, you will be just right. And for anybody else, you'll probably be too much or not enough. And that's perfectly fine. So the Goldilocks principle of dating is that for the right person, you will be just right. And I want to say there is more than one right person. I think Goldilocks only had three options of bedding, oatmeal, and I forget what the third thing is, if there is one. But when it comes to dating, there are a lot of people that you can be in a successful, happy, fulfilling relationship with. And for those people, you will be just right. And for a lot of people, you will be too much or not enough. Which means that fundamentally, you don't have to change who you are to be more pleasing to more people. Because when you do that, when you shape shift, when you try to become what you think others want you to be, you're going to get it wrong. You're going to get it wrong because you don't really know what others want. So it's not even worth trying to fundamentally change who you are. I'm not saying don't continue to improve. Of course, if you're listening to this, you're into personal development. You have self-awareness. You're working on your patterns and your triggers, right? I'm not saying don't do any work on yourself. I'm saying don't try to change who you are to be more appealing to a larger crowd because you don't really know what they want. Of course, if you go on date after date after date and everybody tells you this one thing that bothers them, then it's, it's worth listening to. But I'm guessing that's not happening. I'm guessing that's not happening. Because deep down inside, I believe that we are all pretty darn good just the way we are. And that life does what it needs to do. And in the process, we grow and we learn. And we better ourselves. But that fundamentally, in this very moment, you're good. You're good just the way you are. You don't need to change who you are to be more appealing to more people. Because the goal isn't to be the lowest common denominator. It's to find someone that actually just likes you for who you are. That's actually the, the gold standard. This is the golden ticket. <laughs> Is throwing out. I love expressions and bumper stickers. The golden ticket is to meet someone who likes you just for, for who you are, who likes you just the way you are, which means that you don't have to change. You don't have to guess. You don't have to shape shift. You could just be you, quirky, weird, normal, whatever, you. And then you don't have to try. I know you've been on dates or in relationships where you've tried to be more than you are or different than you are, and it's exhausting and it's inauthentic because it's not you. It's not who you are. And who you are is fantastic. It's fantastic. You might not think it right now in this moment while you're listening to this, or you might, but it, it is. What you are is fantastic and it is unique and it is particular. And there is someone, and most probably way more than one person, ding, I always have my phone off for some reason. There's someone and more than one person that's just going to like you for who you are. Warts and all, quirks and all, triggers, patterns, and all. Really. 
I believe that. I also believe that my job is to have hope for you when you don't have hope. That's my job as a coach with a lot of my clients is to show them light, is to show them a way of seeing things that they don't see or currently feel. And it is my belief that there are lots of beautiful, and I mean that inside and out, people that you can have successful relationships with and that you don't have to change anything. That said, you can't just sit on your couch and expect it to drop into your lap. That's not going to happen either. There has to be some engaging with the world. There has to be some telling people what you want. There has to be some putting it out into the universe that you are available, open, and looking. And I'm not talking about manifesting. I don't really believe in manifesting. I hope I don't turn anybody off, but like the, the whole idea of manifesting just doesn't make any sense to me. That said, I do believe in the power of intention, the power of speaking and voicing what you want and sort of letting the universe know that you're ready. I mean, maybe that's manifesting. I don't know. It just, to me, the way I describe it feels a lot less new agey than uh, calling in the one. Calling in the one to me doesn't, makes sense. But, you know, letting the universe know that you're ready and open and willing. And then action, right? Doing action. Doing action. <laughs> Making moves. Letting people know that you're available. Going on dates. Using a dating site. Which, by the way, is just a tool to meet people. And I know, we're in the middle of a global pandemic and you're not supposed to meet new people or you're not even supposed to look at people. And yet there are people. There are people that you can meet. You can let your network know that you're available, that you're looking. You can have friends or family set you up. You can flirt with people on Zoom calls. You can still do online meetups. You can still meet people at the grocery store, at the park, walking on the sidewalk. It's still possible. It's harder. It's more challenging, for sure. Absolutely, without a doubt. And it's still possible. Also, it depends where you live. Some people are listening to this and uh, the pandemic isn't really like a big deal where they live. And if that's you, awesome. And if you hate online dating, just know that that people have been hooking up and meeting and getting into relationships for thousands of years without online dating. So if you don't want to date online, then don't date online. That's totally fine. There are other ways of meeting people. <sighs> this feels like a little mini dating rant. But really what it is, is me telling you that you are perfect just the way you are and you could use some work. Right? You're perfect and you could use some work. And don't worry, the work happens. If you're relatively self-aware, the work happens. I think I just remembered that that ringer was the banana bread that's now ready. So I'm going to go. The invitation this week is to try to feel into this inherent goodness that you have. You are a good person. You are unique. You have a lot to offer. You are a fantastic person. And I'm not just paying you lip service because obviously like I don't know you and I don't need to know you to know that there is a beautiful human and you have a beautiful story and you have a lot to offer. I don't know what that is, but I hope that you meet someone that sees what I see 
And what I know to be true about people is that most of you are great people. Really, really fantastic. And you don't see it. Some of you don't see it. Some of you don't feel worthy. You don't feel loved. You don't feel that you are worthy of being loved. And you are, just by virtue of being born. Have a beautiful week. And take really, really, really good care of yourself. My name is Sean Galanos. Ciao.